Before I show you the strong hint from the second episode that is going in favor to this theory, let me firstly briefly introduce you with the whole thing about Sam being the narrator of Game of Thrones. Basically, I came up to this while reading John Bradley's interviews, an actor that portrays Samuel Tarly in the series. Long story short, Bradley came up with a theory based on the object in Game of Thrones opening credits that is identical to the, as he said, gyroscope that is hanging inside a citadel. John Bradley theorized and might have even figured out Game of Thrones sending, Bradley said, I think it could mean any number of things. One theory is that what we're seeing now and how we're experiencing Game of Thrones since Sam telling the story of Game of Thrones. If you take the logic of the story now, the story of Westeros and the story of the battle for the Iron Throne, it would be a book in that library. The visual motive of that is you're about to be told a story, the sense of an idea of being told a story and people gaining that knowledge the way Sam is absorbing knowledge in the library. The astrolabe and the changing map of Westeros that we see before every single episode in this theory would represent the unfolding of a story being told by Sam himself. Previous season provided us one more proof that is going in favor to this theory. When Sam arrives at the Citadel, he is greeted by a maester who uses a distinctive pair of glasses to read the text in front of him. Those glasses, to be exact, its lenses, we have most probably seen in the each episode of Game of Thrones in the opening credits. As we can see in every title sequence, while zooming in on the city of King's Landing and while zooming out of the wall, the map is actually seen through lenses that appears to be just like those glasses. Now, let's see how this theory might have been confirmed, or at least hinted in the last episode. While Archmaester Rebros and Sam were gathering books in the Citadel library, Archmaester said a line that seems to be a strong hint for Sam truly being the narrator of Game of Thrones. Epic fantasy novels, A Song of Ice and Fire, which was later adapted into the HBO 